Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. It's Friday Night Flies. We're up here in Bass Pro Tawasin, hanging out with Zach for the day. It's been really good. Cleaned me out, like he said in his last video. But uh, today we're going to show you a little present that came in the mail from Stonefo, right out of Italy. Great, uh, great company, does uh, a lot of fishing accessories, and fly tying tools. Uh, if you've watched Friday Night Flies before, you've probably seen me this year tying on their transformer vise, which has been fun. And so they sent me this brand new, hot off the press, they just developed this travel vise. So I haven't even opened it yet, guys. Yeah, so that plastic how, it was still on it. <laughs> still fresh. Like I haven't tied a fly, nothing. There is no scraps of anything in there. Comes in this nice little travel case. You can see it is pocket size. 15 by 10 by 2. Oh, that's nice. That's going straight into my Barbados, uh, Barbados suitcase. So I don't even know how this works yet. Like, so we're going to find out. You can take that thing anywhere. That yeah, literally I think fits after in your pocket. Barbados, I think it's going to uh, live in my truck. Yeah. Right in the glove box. All right, so it comes with this uh, little Allen key, which I am assuming is going to help set up something. And we got a little hole in there, which I'm guessing is probably going to. Let's see if we can get it. I'm, I'm having an idea that this pin in the shaft is probably going to sit in there somehow. It helped if the instructions weren't in Italian. Uh, there's there's stuff. English in there. <laughs> usually, it's usually like the third it, one down. It's there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah French, right. Italian, and Great Britain. Is that English? All right, so we got a couple of head adjustments on here. So it looks like we can adjust. Oh, there it is for the top. And now I know what the Allen key's for. This little nut here, so I can adjust the angle of my jaws. Now what else is going on? Now I do see a hole in the bottom, so I'm guessing these are going to go through here. Snug up that base. Yep. What else we got happening? Whoa! I know what's going on. Adjustable height. Adjustable height. Yeah. And I'm guessing this twists down and locks that all in. And you know what else? It's rotary. <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. <laughs> True rotary. Full 360. Oh yeah, that's my tension knob on the top. And it's a uh, cam over jaws. It's the same jaws that are on the uh, transformer for the streamer heads. Nice little compact vise. That's pretty cool. I'm stoked. <laughs> yeah, I would be too. I'm pretty stoked for this one. Well, so I guess the mission's going to be to uh, tie some some uh, streamers up on the beach when I'm out there. Yep, and we'll go right from the beach to water. Maybe some of those bull trout plowsers. Yeah, but they'll so, work down there. <laughs> now that we got that vise set up. We'll, uh, we'll get to tie in a little pattern. It's a little pink fl or pink salmon fly pattern that I was using this summer. It's probably my top producer of the year. And uh, we'll get that camera, we'll get this in the vise here, and then we'll come down and see if this vise performs. Definitely. That's very, very similar to the pink reaper. Probably. Minus I had eyes on it. There you go. That's my guide fly. No yeah. eyes. Yeah. Well, that uh, uh, speed production. Yeah, the, the pink reaper went ten for ten in that one video that we did. Uh, Perfect. Oh, when you went up uh, yeah. to secret spot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. We won't tell you where that one was. No. All oh, right. Yeah. Let's head on down. Let's bring her down. Roll in. All right, guys. Uh, I wish I could tell you what this fly is called. It does have a name, and uh, we will f find that out uh, as we tie it. So, oh, is it still in view there? We are still in focus, I believe. Yeah, close enough. So during the tie, I will uh, get Zach to go through my Facebook account, Love the Tug, and he will find what the name of that fly is. But sure. this was a, yeah, just start scrolling. Yeah. It's just photos of flies. Pink shouldn't be too far down. Um, super simple little pattern. Worked really great once the pinks were getting in there a little bit thicker. And as they do, we started transitioning to smaller and smaller and smaller flies, and uh, and they were pecking these things out. Uh, this is one of my guide flies, flies, and uh, produced a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fish on this thing. Very similar to the one that uh, Zach tied up as well. Yeah, what's it called though? No name. On the, uh, oh no, keep going. Oh, for the day. 
Let's see what you need. Oh, you're in the photos? Oh, go back post. out of your photos and just go to your posts. All right. It's yeah. each, each one of the posts. Oh, you keep pressing on this little thing. Just get this out of the way. Technology. So it's a Samsung. So you go back. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, post. Cool. Okay. There you go. And it'll have the name and then the picture of the fly. So we have a size 8. Oh, I'm trying to keep this vice still, guys. I'll it give is you a... one guess at what it's called. Ballerina? Yeah. That, that was your one guess. Yeah. Uh, it's Boulder's pink go-to fly. Hey, hey, look at that. <laughs> Sometimes you get real creative real with, the, original. with the names. Yeah. When you're coming up with fly after fly after fly, it starts getting hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you guys want to name it. It's my, uh, yeah. Shoot us a message. Because it was. Ooh. Don't move, Vice. It was my go-to fly. Yeah. This thing was outproducing everybody on the beach, which was quite fun for the clients. Yeah. All right, so we got our thread on there, uh, six op weight or whatever you want to use. What kind it's, of hook? It is a size six eagle claw, and then uh, we're going to go. So I use the eagle claws because it's a nice stiff shank hook. So with these pinks, it doesn't open it up, which has been kind of the key. You know, you get into those smaller sized hooks like that, and uh, they'll uh, start opening up on you. So you got a little bit of hot pink marabou for the tail. Very small amount. It's uh, not even half of the plume. It's just a little sparse tail, a little hit of pink. And why I came up with this one is I was out there one day. And there was this old timer. He had been out there five days in a row. And he was he would come out and just clean up right beside me every single time. And I know these guys are pretty secretive about their flies. So I didn't ask him to see his fly. I was just like, what's your color combo? And he's like, pink and silver. I was like, more pink than silver or more silver than pink? And he was like, more silver than pink. So I went home, went to the vice. I was like, okay, I need to make this. My flies were very heavy pink and I needed to come up with something that was a little lighter on the, on the pink side and definitely a little bit more silver orientated. So this was born. Went out the next day right beside him and outfished him. And so he was like, well, what are you using? So I donated a couple to him since he gave me the idea. Next, we got a little silver pearl flash here. I'm just going to take one piece. I'm going to fold it over in half. So I got two strands on one side. Just wrap it up there. Grab your fold it over piece. Wrap it back to where you've tied in that marabou. Give it a little trim. And that's that part. And I'm just going to do a little bit of filling with my thread here. Normally I have some uh, cotton thread that's a little bit thicker and I'll tie that in and fill up the shank so you don't have to waste all your thread. But I'm here and I don't have all my stuff on me so I'll just do a couple. It doesn't need to be crazy intense. I'm just trying to fill in a little bit of that transition from where I tied in the marabou. Get yourself a little bit of holographic tinsel in silver. Trap it in there. Oh. So the one thing I think I'm going to do with this little travel vise is I'm going to glue some weight into the bottom footings. It's nice that it's nice and light for travel purposes. Probably put some heavy magnets or something like that. In yeah, there. that's what I'm thinking. Or glue some nuts in there. Yeah, washers, whatever. Something a little heavy help keep it firm because I'm kind of afraid to pull on this thing tight and wouldn't be really an issue if we weren't on camera because every time I move the vise changes the focus on the uh, on the camera for you guys there all right so we're gonna wrap up with that because yeah this vice wants to skate on the tabletop so we get that silver in there, and I am leaving it shy of the of the head because we're going to be putting in a, a little bit of a collar material. 
So I got this nifty stuff here from Bass Pro. It's the White River Palmer Chenille in the Pearl. And I'm just going to trap a little bit of it. And I'm going to give myself just, just one enough. full wrap. That's it. A little goes a long way with that stuff. Yeah, just one full wrap. So you don't want to make this too bulky. Couple in behind, one in front, get rid of that. It's just a little hint of something, something. And then next I went to my cock, cock cape and got myself a nice pink feather. And these are uh, the smaller ones that I pull from the bottom of the, of the pelt. And I'm gonna just tie this in by the tip. So I'm just gonna grab that tip and get those other fibers out of the way with the curvature facing me. So that way it'll palmer when I wrap it on. Just get rid of that tip there. And it looks like some of my chenilles move forward. And before we go forward, we'll just push everything back there. Couple wraps in there. There we go. And I'm just gonna get my feather ready here, nice and gentle, just hold it up, run something Either side, it'll help to polymer the feather. Too scared to use your scissors? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I got the, the fine tip of this feather, so. Yeah. All right, so if we grab those, then they will polymer back. And again, I'm just trying to get these little loose fibers back. I'm only doing two to three wraps on that cock cape. The whole it's just a little hint of pink. Remember, this is supposed to be more silver than pink. So it's just a little hint in there. All right, so just push these Aaron fibers back with your fingers. Wrap back with that white thread. Clean up the head a little bit. I'm just going to give it a quick half hitch or two. Stay vice. Because then we're going to put in the, uh, the finishing touch here, which is uh, some of this ultra thread in red. Has a nice glisten to it. Oh. <laughs> it is a travel vice, folks. It is a travel vice. I can hold that pretty good. Yeah. So, how well, we the, tie. The jaws are holding tight. Yeah. Yeah, how like I said, if I wasn't doing it on camera, this thing is just fine. When we're doing it on film, we want something that's really sturdy so it's not moving around at all. We put a lot of torque on our flies, for sure. Yeah, just get rid of some of these loose fibers there. All right, so we got that in there. And we're just going to build up this little red head on the fly. And yes, I do move it back quite a bit on the on the hook shank there because I want that nice big red spot right at the head. I did some without it and definitely with the prevalent head on it it fished a lot better. Don't know why. Can't answer that. So we got that on there. Little whip finish. And I was doing these in this pink color as well as in chartreuse. And both worked fantastically. And so we got that guy, try out uh, the little solar as bone cure in there. Should, uh, I was using just the uh, clear head from What's the brand that we always use there? Superfly. Superfly, thank you. <laughs> I was using that. We gave it a nice little sheen. That's gonna do it as well. Have you noticed when you watch your videos back, when you first turn this on, it smokes? Yep. That's it, intense. You do not wanna get Don't look into any of that the light. You don't wanna look into it, but you don't wanna get any of the UV cure on your hand either. As soon as the light hits it, it burns. It's, oh yeah, you oh, can yeah, feel it's, it? It's not cool. Want to have a little experiment? <laughs> no. <laughs> so <laughs> that's Boulder's go-to fly right there. Beauty. And if you do want to come up with a creative name of it, shoot us a line on Friday Night Flies Facebook. Right on.
Let's All uh, right. head on up. Take us out. Good looking fly. So that's it, guys. That's the uh, the go-to pink fly for uh, for the season. Yeah, that was, that was the money. So we're gonna be back. We got a special with, guest that just walked in. Yeah, <laughs> a good friend uh, not here. Not planned. <laughs> came off the street, and uh, we'll see if we can get him to stop bleeding and get on camera. <laughs> yeah, maybe find a band-aid for the young feather. Maybe. But uh, thanks for watching, Friday Night Flies. Come down and uh, visit this guy. And uh, I saw a beautiful display over there where he's got hand-tied flies from Friday Night Flies Patterns. You know where to get them now. Yeah, come check them out. Or hit us up, pros at FridayNightFlies.com. That's right. We can do a custom order, too. Anytime. All right. See you yeah. in a little bit.